Hey guys, how you doing? Thanks for joining me again. I really appreciate your support. We're five off the pace. No, we're six off the pace, but we're five under par. We've been here before. We're in a really good position. I just need to stay calm. Calm and consistent. That's all I have to do on this one. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to feature some of the best young talent in the world of golf. From the Canadian Rockies in Banff Springs, live second round coverage of the Canadian Championship. Well, if we see more of what we witnessed yesterday, we're in for a heck of a battle these next three days as we show you the current leaderboard here on this Friday. A lot of folks fighting for the title, including our leader, See what kind of thumb action we've got today. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, and ended up going very right. This up the right side off the tee. Yeah, that's a beauty there to get this second round underway. Was that my poor shot or was that the wind? A pretty ideal wedge distance here, 95 yards for his second. Ground is going to push me left. It's going to aim straight at it. We'll find out, I guess, what the wind is doing. Can't find my shot right now. Can't seem to get the controller in my hand the way I want it. Oh, that's pretty damn good though. Could have done with going a bit left. In golf, you know, you've heard the term mulligan. You'd love that to do over there, wouldn't you? I mean, that's just, oh, that's very poor from that range. Oh, 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 oh. Bit more power, it might have gone. Okay, I didn't quite get it there, but that's a decent effort. Safely in. It's a par here at the first. And he'll stay at five under. Frank, it's always nice to begin a round with a little variety. We had a relatively short par four opening hole and now a par three to back it up. You can see why short iron play is going to be paramount today, Rich. Short iron into the first hole and a chance here to hit another short iron into a short par three. So you can get off to a very fast start. Oh my god, can't find the controller position I need. Oh, oh very right. The length is perfect. Solid shot and sometimes solid throughout the Just straight round. shots I'm struggling with. A birdie try on the second green, and with that, we welcome four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Nota Begay. And a really tricky look here. Tough side hill putt. He's going to push it out. Oh! The and it drifts its way back to the hole. Nah, that's not going to come back enough. That'll stay on the high side. Game. Okay, safely in for his paw. And he'll stay right where he is. That's two birdies missed. Frank, how about the first par five of the golf course here at the third? Just a shade under 530 yards. Good birdie opportunity? It certainly is. There's three bunkers just down that left side. Avoid those, and this par five, very reachable. Well, that should be okay. Just 
just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Definitely within range of getting home in two. This is second. Yeah, it should be all right. Well, that one had to feel good. Yeah, it struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's an eagle. It's in for an eagle three. Superb. Didn't even realize. Probably a good thing because it would have completely screwed me up. Well, Frank, no doubt this is one of the most photographed holes in, in all of golf. The devil's cauldron. Just get to the front of the tee there. Get the camera out. The vistas there are amazing. You see the mountains in the background. Uh, this green surrounded by the pine trees. Of course, if you like a, a, a lake or two, there's a lake just in front of that green. Just to give you that little color of blue in the, in the uh, snapshot you're gonna take. I like to look at them, not swimming. Certainly not fish golf balls. Wow. Either. Backspin with an eight iron. That's not easy to do. <laughs> okay, he'll have putter in hand, but a long look coming up from the back portion of this green. I thought we hit this with an eight iron last time. I'm gonna have to check that. Maybe I didn't. So it's all downhill, so we're going to drop this like quiet bit. It looks like it's going left to right to me. Difficult to tell. Oh, terrible shot. Really bad. Oh man, that was miles off. Got that so wrong. Right about nine feet here to the hole. Get in. That's in. It is a good par here at number four. Woof. And he'll stay at seven under. That was a big shot, that one. Back on the tee here at Banff Springs, fifth hole, 424 yard par four. What's the setup here, Frank? Well, it's very tempting to try and hit a draw because uh, that's the way in which the hole is shaped. But. Uh, the main, the main goal is to make sure that you can take that second bunker, the one on the left side, out of play with that tee shot. That'll do. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. Oh, it's going left. They've all been going right today, and this one goes left. Look at the position. If that had just and gone straight or right, like the they've all been going, we'd be on the pin. Near to the flag, but still on the green. A look here at birdie. And a very makeable look here. Not too much undulation at all. Maybe just a slight move to the right. No, see, it's not a slight move to the right. I'd have put more on that. If he hadn't have said that, I would have done. I keep getting tricked by the AI, giving me these crappy recommendations. It's in for par, and he'll remain right where he is. Need to stop listening to them. Frank, the sixth here at Banff Springs is a good little hole, isn't it? It is very tempting, very easy to sort of uh, just stand up there and wail away with the driver and get caught. 
It's a generous fairway. You can hit any club down there and you're not going to have a problem with a second shot. So it's just trying to find a yardage that you're comfortable with. Going really right. This one started up the right side. That one may get up close to the right edge, but it looks like it's going to hang on. That'll be just fine. Little bit of an awkward distance for this. His second. What is going on with my thumb? Why does this keep happening? Gone really badly right. Again, look at the distance. The distance is perfect. Nuggets. Mm, hang on. That's going to leave about three feet. Oh, idiots. Rushing. Stupid, stupid shot. Uh, well read. That's in for a that is five. so annoying. And he's going to fall to six under par. Damn it. I've got to calm down. Well, Frank, how about this hole? 602 yards of par 5, although I, I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. It's 602 yards these days for a long hitter. Um, what do you say? A, it's a drive and a 7-iron? That, that's a <laughs> mid-range par 5. Well, yeah, two woods. Uh, the longer hitters will definitely get uh, at home there, especially in good conditions. But bunker down the left, avoid that, carry that, and then we can think about the second shot. That will do just fine. Ah. It didn't look like that bad a shot, but it's all the way over on the left. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. Got no idea how far the pitch is going to go. Oh, could be good. How does it stop that quickly sometimes, but not all the time? Is it... Be a 14 -foot putt here. Is it the... Uh... Is it the green? Is that what's doing it? Go on, go on. Indeed, the line there, perfect. It is in for a birdie. And he's going to move to seven under par, two under on the day. Here we are at the 150-yard eighth, another par three with a tee shot over water. Short, and you're wet again. Long, and you're in the sand. Center of the green is where you want to be. Not a straight shot. Where's that going to end up? No, 
I'm not playing that shot. I'm not confident with it. That could be okay. If it sits. Ah. Oh. That's okay, too well. Just a little right of the flag on the front portion of this green and the birdie putt coming up. Noted this for birdie. And putt coming up a ridge, one you might have to hit a little firmer to take some of the breakout. Oh. That would have been lovely. Just a bit too firm. Okay, good roll there. It is a par here at the eighth, and he'll stay right where he is. Just love the variety here on the front side, Frank, coming off that short par three eighth. Now we go to another par five to round out the side, 501 yards. And the third par five, an interesting front nine here. Three par fives, you know, three par threes, and three par fours. Uh, this one, not the longest par five, but still reachable. This one, you have to be a little bit uh, careful, though. This is probably the toughest driving hole on the front nine with regard to par fives. Oh. Completed phase one. Now, after the big drive, this a good distance here for a second to the par five. There we go. This could be incredible. Oh, it's going left. Again, the length is just perfect. Mm. What a good shot that is. Home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. Now maybe a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Go on. Oh! Oh, that was... Agonizingly close. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Yes. Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that's going to be a three under 33 on this front side. I am working so hard, guys. Honestly, putting so much effort into Getting this. Ready to start the back nine here at Bamp. Got to stay calm. And Frank, you better be ready on this 10th tee. This requires a good shot. Even though the hole looks like it bends towards the right, the best access, access to this hole is actually a little draw off that tee. Um, that's the direction of the green, so a nice high draw in here. I'm going to go short, I think. That's a dead straight shot. How has it gone that far left? Don't say the wind, because the wind doesn't... A white um, triangle pointing that direction doesn't affect my shots that much, ever. From the bunker. Just a little splash out on this part. What I need is more information. You know what I mean? Okay, safely on the putting surface out of the sand. Would have maybe like to run that up a little further, but that's not the worst shot in the world. Scary, but we're in. in. It's a par here at the 10th, and he'll remain three shots off the pace. I do not feel calm. I need to calm down. 
So off the long par three tenth, we are at the 11th hole, 417 yard par four, Frank. It looks like a straightaway par four, Rich, but if anything, the hole actually bends to the left and you really want to follow that natural contour of that. And just sort of draw it off those bunkers on the right or just simply carry it over the ones on the left. But ideally down the left side, it avoids that pine tree that's further down. Looking for a strong finishing kick here on this Friday to get set up for the weekend in that another good drive here. A little under 90 yards left here for his second. Gone too far left. And way short. Oh, that's really disappointing. How did it go so short? Work to do. Just five feet left. Oh, just. Okay, well done. It is a par here at 11. And he's going to remain at 8 under. I'm freaking out a little bit. I need to calm down. I do not feel calm. I'm getting more anxious with every shot. The par 4, 12, 442 yards. Players are really focused on that bunker down the left side. That's the one that has to be either laid up, which would be 286 yards off the tee, or sort of worked off. Um, this could very well be a three wood off the tee. Just hit it straight at that left bunker. I think we'll be okay. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. Second shot straight ahead, and we go to Iona Steven. It's 125 yards will get you to the front of the green, but it's 132 if you're going to go for the flag. And that wind, it's coming from right to left, so you might need to start this a little bit to the right-hand side. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Just needed a bit more power. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. One. Oh! Good effort, but I feel like we did exactly that last time, didn't we? Exactly the same position, exactly the same lack of power. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. Too many pars. And he'll remain right where he is. It's not good enough. Too many pars. Well, Frank, here's another pretty long par three. The 13th here at Banff Springs. 225 yards. What's the right play? Well, unless they have that flag all in the back, um, that first two thirds of the green is just like a nice big circle. You hit it anywhere on that, you're going to have a putt of some 20, 25 feet maximum for birdie. And there goes the thumb. That's a good shot. Did I set it up right? Too long? Or too long. Okay, not taking any chances there. A good, safe play in the middle portion of the green. An outside look here for Birdie. It's downhill, believe it or not. Okay, safely in for par here at 13. 
I need some birdies down these back four. Lots of birdies. Well, here we are at the 14th hole. It's a par four, 442 yards. You like this hole, Frank? I do, but if you were spraying it off the tee here, then there's all sorts of problems. Bunkers left, trees right. Uh, this is a fairway you must hit. Oh, that's really bad. That one up the right side. See, the thumb position was just off again. A fairway miss. That one goes into the Is that the first one I've missed today? I don't believe that. Second shot from the rough, down to Iona. 130 is the number left of the flag today. And that wind, it's coming from right to left. So you might need to start this a little bit to the right-hand side. All right, so I want to overhit this slightly. Without, without playing that weird shot. Come on. Could be okay if it's got the length, which it doesn't. It's gone too far right. Damn. Oh well, we tried. Always a good shot in the rough, but now a chance for a birdie. So that's a good approach shot. It was going. Yeah, that's a good putt from there. A little short, but not too bad. It was bloody going in. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain right where he is. Right, where are the leaders? 12 under. Well, now the par fours begin to stretch out a little bit. The 15th here, Frank, is 475 yards. You certainly want to put your big shoes on here. Nice big slinging draw off the tee might help. Go a little further. It does go downhill considerably, so you get a little bit more run out of the tee shot if you did that. Oh, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. A left to right breeze. Something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. Now, this is a pitching wedge. That's just going to sit, isn't it? Oh, the wife's calling me. Be right back. <clears throat> okay, sorry about that, guys. What we're looking at here. That's not what I'm doing. Uh, nine iron. Okay. Approach shot. Could be spectacular. Oh, God, what am I doing? Got the perfect swing, but overhit it slightly. Not bad. Well, not super close, but uh, safely on the green. Well, I own has had a good look. Now this for birdie. Well, they often say it's the toughest putt in golf. There's not a lot to it. I think you can take dead aim. I think I took too much power out of it. What a shame. That's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And he'll stay right where he is. Need to get some birdies out of this. Moving on to number 16 now. It's a par four, 414 yards. And Frank, uh, what are we looking at here? It's another hole that'll favor a nice sort of high draw off the tee. It'll set up that second shot to a green that uh, has got several different levels on it. No issues here. That is into the fairway.
Frank, looking at this approach now to the 16th, what does the player need to be aware of? You've got to make sure you fly the ball every inch of the way here, Rich. Uh, the ball won't kick forward because of that false front. So making sure you at least club up, not club down. Oh, it's gone so far right. Distance was perfect. The shot was terrible. Nope, a really bad shot. Mm, not quite enough, but that's really, really bad. It's just so tough to calculate how much speed's going to be taken off before you get to the green, but that was very well judged. Hmm. Now to the 17th, 374 yards, and Frank players might be licking their chops here. They certainly would, Rich. Bunkers left and right, but they can be carried with an aggressive tee shot. And it'll set up just a short on into a green that pitches towards you. Um, so maybe just a little bit underneath the flag with a second shot. And really a chance to uh, have a, a fast far move. right. This one moving just a little bit to the right with that wind. That could be all right, you know. That could work out. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though. No, we're not going to get over the flop. So, we can't put the spin on it. Could go long flop. Oh, crap. I don't want to play a long flop like that. Very left. Ah, lots of work to do there. That's a good shot. Nine feet left here for Birdie. Yes. Oh, finishing strong. That's in for Birdie here at 17. And he's worked it to nine under par. Well, here we are at the final hole here at Bamp Springs, 578 yard par five, and Frank, a chance to finish the round with a flourish. If you're one of the fortunate to hit this fairway, it's very reachable, but uh, well protected by bunkers left, right, central bunkers as well. You really have to be aware of two things, the wind direction. That's and good. Exactly how I like it very much. If you want to find this fairway. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Ah, didn't quite get it this time, did we? That Never mind. Be in the, rough. the whole way. One more bounce back on the fairway. It's right, so uphill a bit. Well, if I play this high. That looks really good. If it's got the length, we're on. Oh, way, way too much. Bugger. That's so disappointing. Look, I, I know par fives are long holes and most people struggle to reach, but that three wood did not even touch the putting surface. It had to be the wrong club. I know it's ambitious, but look where it is now. That's really disappointing. So this for a finishing birdie at 18. Absolute perfect spot to putt from. Very little break, if any. 
he should be able to just run this right in. Yeah, it's not true though, is it? Or is it? Yes! Oh, oh wonderful. Double figures, guys. To close things out. So for our featured golfer, Frank, it is on to the week. And who knows, if you get out early on Saturday, try and post a number, see what happens. Exactly. There's such a fine line, Rich, between playing well and sort of not struggling, but just mediocre. Putt goes in here or there. Uh, that could easily change tomorrow. Make a couple of birdies early, pop a long one in, and all of a sudden you're off and running. So yep. that's a wrap for True. all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour. Thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Your support is absolutely helping me a lot. Um, we've got a chance, haven't we? But we've got to get it through round three first. So let's try and improve on five under. We've got five under and five under. Be nice to get a seven or an eight under. That would really put us right in there with the chance. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Till then, take care. Goodbye for now.